Hello folks, Scott here with a little bit of a different video today. I've gotten a lot of questions about my printing of sentiments. So I thought we'd take it step by step today. We'll do both of these sentiments. So we will print one sentiment on vellum. We will print one sentiment on cardstock. This is actually the 120 pound Simon Says Stamp cardstock that we got in the July kit. So the first thing you need to know when printing your sentiments is which direction your paper goes into your printer. I have a fairly simple Canon PIXMA MX922 printer. It's just an inkjet printer. It does have a scanner. It does have a copier. I like this printer a lot. It gives me good color. It's my paper tray. To figure out what side your printer prints on, I just draw an arrow on your top sheet of paper. And that's the paper that's going into the printer first. And then just send something through to print. There you go, the printer is humming along. The door pops open and out comes the printed page. Now there's no arrow on that. The arrow is on the bottom. So that tells me that my printer prints on the bottom of the paper as it's loaded into the paper tray. So once you know which direction your paper goes into your printer with, you can use any software you like, you have, you use. This is my Silhouette software. I like this a lot. You could use Word, Microsoft Word. You could use Photoshop, whatever you like. But all you're going to do is print this, print your design on a plain piece of printer paper. So bring it up. Let's print. I'm hot for you. This is an easy one. This is on the vellum, so it's very easy to set up and line up. So we come back to the printer, and our print comes out on a plain sheet of copy paper. Plain old copy paper, nothing fancy, nothing exciting. There we go. There's our sentiment on a plain piece of paper. Now what we're going to do is add our vellum over the top of this and line it up to where we think we want it on the vellum. This piece of vellum is two and three quarter inches by six inches, so I know it will cover the whole front of a card, give me some extra there. I know I want it about there. Now you can bring in a T-square if you want to make sure that you're getting everything lined up. Generally, your printer should print your sentiment nice and square to the paper. You can line that up, make sure everything's square on your vellum piece. And then take a piece of washi tape or painter's tape, whichever you like. We're going to tape down the leading edge of our paper. Now I love if I'm putting tape on a usable part of my card, I almost always press it against my arm. Tape down the leading edge of the paper, the side that goes into the printer first. We're still on, there you go, we're still on that arrow page. We know it goes in this way. We're going to put this back into our printer tray in this direction. So here we go, we're putting this back into the printer tray with the arrow pointing in the right direction. The image is on the bottom, sliding that into our printer. And let's go back and print this image again, which it should print on the same piece of paper, but this time on the vellum. And here it comes out of the printer. Vellum should give your printer no problems whatsoever, should travel through piggybacking on a piece of typing paper. We have now printed that on the piece of vellum. And just peel it off your typing paper. Remove your washi tape. And there you go, there's your sentiment. I could have taken a little bit more time lining it up perfectly, I suppose. But there's your sentiment printed on a piece of vellum. Go right over the top of a card. Easy, easy with vellum. You don't have to have colors. You don't have to have special fonts. You could do this literally with Microsoft Word if you have a special sentiment that you would like to use and don't have a stamp for it. So let's try printing 
on cardstock. So on this card, this sentiment is actually printed on the card base. These are other pieces of cardstock. So we're going to be printing this on this 120 pound Simon Says stamp cardstock. So this is pretty thick cardstock. I know my printer will handle it. You will just have to experiment to see if your printer will handle it. So here we are back at my Silhouette software again. We don't have the luxury this time of printing on vellum that you can see through very easily. So I'm going to print myself up some guidelines here. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch square. Rectangle, I should say. This is four and a quarter by five and a half inch. So these two squares represent my card. I'm printing on the front of the card. This would be the fold line. This little box right here represents the giraffe focal point. So this becomes my sentiment right there. That's where I'm going to put it. I can put my whole card on a piece of typing paper as needed. That's why this is all the way down here in the right corner. And let's print this and print it up on a plain sheet of copy paper. So here comes our first print out on copy paper, Plano straight copy paper. This does have the guidelines for your cards. So you can theoretically line it right up. You don't really need to even see through it. I, of course, am a little too anal for that. <laughs> and like to see through to make sure I'm getting my sentiment in the right place. But with the addition of the card shape on this typing paper, you can virtually put your card right over the top of it. Let's give that a try. So theoretically, these lines are perfect for an A2 card. I should be able to just line that up. This is my card base. This is my typing paper. Should be able to line it right up on those lines. Again, I'm going to tape the leading edge of that card stock. Tape it down to the copy paper. And we're going to send it through the printer one more time. Now, because I am an anal person, <laughs> I do have a light board that I use for things like this. You can put it on and actually see where the sentiment is. If you've lined everything up, that's part of what I love about the terrific software that comes with a silhouette. I actually think you may be able to download the basic silhouette software for free. I don't think there's any cost to it whatsoever. Now there you go, that's perfectly lined up. On a light board you can see where it's going to print on your card. That's just about the exact same place it printed on the other card. Although it says scoot it over just a touch. So let's scoot it over just a touch. I'm still following that bottom line, that top line and I'm scooting it over just about an eighth of an inch or so. So let's send that through our printer and print it again. Again, the printed side will go down with the leading edge leading into the printer. So we load our printer paper with the cardstock taped on top, face down into my printer. Close it up and let's print it again. However, this time we want to make sure that we don't print these card lines. So I'm just going to take these off of the page, leave everything exactly where it was, take those off the page. This software will not print that red line and we will print it one more time. And there it shoots out really quick because it's not printing the box. It's just going straight to the sentiment. There you go. It has printed the sentiment on the cardstock that's been taped to the top of the printer paper. So then all we need to do is remove this from our typing paper. Take the washi tape off. And there we go. We have a lovely printed sentiment on the top of a card 
ready for more stamping, ready for your focal point, etc., etc. I hope this helps illuminate how I've been doing this with my card kits. I, again, if I haven't said this before, I started subscribing to card kits because I don't have a lot of stamps. I don't have a lot of ink pads. I thought it would be a great inexpensive way to increase my stash of stamps and stamp pads. I hope this helps explain printing of sentiments. I hope you enjoyed this video. This one's a short one, folks. If you enjoyed yourself today and learned something, then uh, like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends, and happy crafting.